about for a second how I thought that I was recording, but I twas not. I just beat these two puzzles that I was having issues with in the last video. Bro, this is how I feel right now. This is how I feel right now. See you, Steve. I'm so sad. But what up, guys? It's your girl, Man at Meeks, and I am back with more Puzzle Agent. If you're enjoying this reaction series, anything else I got on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm your let's be here together. I cannot believe I forgot to press the button. I thought I pressed it. Oh. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe it. I actually Hello again, beat the puzzle. Oh my god, there's more bugs. Let's try to box those bugs again. Let's get to it. Wait a minute. I thought I, I thought I solved it. Oh no, it's more it's more bugs. Okay, this is a different one. But I beat the last one. I'm so sad. I was so proud of myself. But what I now know is that this should work. One, two, three. One, two, three. That should work. And this is one, two, three. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is this? One, two, three. No, no. It's this one. Yeah. Let me get rid of that. Because I was thinking like, oh, maybe I could just box these together, but it would have to have an equal number of spaces, like blank spaces, and it doesn't. Um, these can be boxed together. Oh. Oh. No. So, no, hmm. Hold on. There's three. Hmm. This one could be three. Um, three, three, hmm. Let's go with it. I cannot believe I did that on the first try. I cannot believe I did that on the first try. But in the, you know, when I wasn't recording, I realized that my issue with this puzzle was that I did not take into account the rule that all the boxes had to have four sides. They couldn't be in any weird shapes because it's more than four sides. And I completely so, forgot that. That wasn't so bad. Hello again, Daryl. And Daryl. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. So now I got to talk to the sheriff. I checked up on the repairman. He was working at the hotel on the night of the accident. Alibi checked out, huh? He's in the clear. He couldn't have been involved. Hmm. Have you looked into Bjorn and his friends? He seems to be an avid environmentalist. 
Perhaps the accident is a political statement. Nah. Bjorn's always been a major part of this community. Since even before my badge was pinning up my diapers. You wore a sheriff's badge on your diapers? <coughs> this is a community that celebrates its Nordic heritage, Agent Tethers. Not one that advocates violence. Okay. Have you heard about this hidden people superstition? Hidden people? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh. You had me going there, Tethers. A government agent investigating elves and hippie legends. Hmm. Uh, yeah. How'd you go in there? That sounds like you have had a busy day. Let's wrap it up for today and start fresh tomorrow. But you haven't really done anything. And we're no closer to getting that factory up and running. Agent Tethers, I'm not from the big city. Around here, we take our time. Keep our heads clear. As far as I can tell, everyone's heads are filled with puzzles. Puzzles are a way to keep yourself from asking questions you don't want answered. The disrespect. What does that mean? It means mind I'll your business. You in the morning, Agent Tethered. Well then. Hold, please. Hold please, I'm, I'm answering a, a message or a question on uh, YouTube. Just me one second. It's very important. It's about my schedule. Okay. All right. Okay. So now, um, I guess since I have the, uh, uh, is he there? Bjorn is starting to look more and more suspicious. I just got a tip that he holds secret meetings in a local lodge. I remember seeing something about a lodge on my Scoggins map. I wonder if it's the same one. Oh, so that's where I'm going? Gum gum i need all the gum i can get okay so there's the lodge but let's go over here none of these gears fit on this door oh okay none of the gears fit never mind back over here i thought i had the gears that fit my bad um so i just came from the diner. Let's go to the lodge. Um, and you might hear my laundry because I am doing laundry. Yeah, what is that? There's some bright orange cloth caught on this sign. I wonder if Mike Lobb was trying to get away from this place in a hurry. I like the ping system, but I'm just looking for gum. I am legitimately ah ha 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 looking for gum.
Okay. Looks like someone doesn't want me to see what's going on inside. Well, they probably shouldn't have made this a puzzle then. Oh, it's a puzzle. Draw a straight single line from one red dot to another that will slice through every barrier blocking the window. Hmm. So... Wait a minute. I'm so confused. Oh, that I slice through every barrier. Oh. Um. Just one line. Nope, not the top one. I feel like it's got to be from here to here. Nope, this barrier is not touched. Um, maybe here. Nope, that one's not touched. Nope. So that one, that one, whoops, this one, that one, these two, this one, that one. Okay, let's try it. Yes! I'm on a puzzle redemption tour. <laughs> That's right, I want to keep getting these because it makes me feel good inside. Yeah, uh-huh. If you want a good look around, you might try knocking on the door. Sheriff Bob! Oh, you startled me. Snooping doesn't suit you, Agent Tathers. What are you doing here? What the heck is going on in there? They meet regularly and celebrate their cultural traditions. But that's their business, not yours. Ooh, ooh. There's something about this crew that seems off to me. Agent Tethers, you're here to get the factory back open. Not to question or belittle the beliefs of the townsfolk. I'm pretty sure I saw Glory Dabner in there. The waitress? I doubt it. She was standing right there a second ago. Time to go, Agent Tethers. She definitely was. I'll escort you back to the hotel. Wow, he literally did. The disrespect. Make it an early night. And turn in, Agent Tethers. I don't want to see you out here again tonight. Trust me, you don't want to be out here either. Sheriff Bob definitely isn't working with me. I'm sure I saw Glory Davner at the lodge. Yes, you did. Uh, bro, what? Unless she's got a twin. Glory Davner is sneaking around town. I'm going to follow her. Oh no. Is there gum anywhere? How do I follow her? Oh. Nelson still got snowmobile trouble. Rearrange the logos so he will track through all the footprints before arriving at Glory's destination. Okay. So I got to go through all the footprints. Oh, I can move all of these. Okay.
No, oh, I can't put it over the. Okay. Oh, I must can't go through the trees, huh? Okay. So here, to bounce to here, to go up here, 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 and then there. Okay. Okay, let's try it. I missed one? Shite. I missed one. Reject. Bring it back. I didn't see it until it was too late. I thought I caught the other one. I thought I caught this. I did not. Because I catch this. Bounce down here. Hmm. What if I bounce this way? But then I have to immediately bounce this way. Go across here. So then... Bounce this way. That doesn't help. Okay, hold on. I just didn't get this one. How do I get this one? Oh, that's too many. Okay. It bounces this way. Then it should bounce up. This way. But this doesn't help because of this. Like, I can't. Hmm. So I can't put anything here to go this way. And I can't go through the trees, right? Mm. 
That doesn't help me. I'm probably making this harder than it is. Which I know that's me. I, I do that. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Because it will go through these three no matter what. And I can't put anything on these. So I'd have to go down and I have to bounce this up. That way it catches that. But then I would need to swing it back this way, drop down, and go this way. So this and then this, then go this way, then hit that and then bank there and go here. Okay, let's go. Glory was headed toward the factory. I gotta catch up with her. What? <laughs> Is he controlling them? That scared the shit out of me. Oh, hell no. The actual fuck. I'm on a lift. I'm sorry. What? Why is there so much gum in here? Nope. Fuck, wow, I didn't mean to do that. You, you're the foreman, Isaac Dabber. What happened to you? Where am I? What are those things, the gnomes? Was that real? Yes? What is it? What? <laughs> what? Draw paths to reconnect the loose ends. Red to red and yellow to yellow, but be careful not to let the wires cross. A path segment can run between any two adjoining points.
Um, what just happened? I go back to the no. Go back to this. Why is that? A, a, mm. in the words. Did they speak to you? Who speak to me? Uh... I'm looking at a photograph of the Brotherhood. Isaac and Mike Lobb seem to be part of this group. And they seem to be friends. Interesting. Is this... Is this real? Like, okay, I'm gonna need some real answers now. What exactly is going on here? What's wrong with these people? They are in deep meditation. If you open your mind and let yourself hear the whispers, there will be no mysteries in life. You cannot solve. Speak to them yourself if you want solutions. Uh. Are these little creatures I keep seeing? They are not creatures. They are people older than any of us, living in what nature still exists around us. Isaac Dabner's still alive, isn't he? The lock on the factory door. He didn't build it himself. You put it there to keep him in. Or to keep people out. Why? He has been spoken to. It is actually a great honor to have been chosen. Chosen for what? That is not for us to ask. I'm gonna need a second to question these people. You what you must. Aha. Uh -huh. You see them, don't you? Listen to their words, their riddles. Hmm. Edward knows it's time to stock the Windawachi River <laughs> with what gricklebacks? Drag the four clutches of fish to release points, keeping in mind these rules. What? Schools will swim towards the river, splitting evenly at each fork. A school that can't split evenly will be paralyzed with indecision. Marsh marmots will eat all fish who enter their turf the marmots are either in myth pick marsh or abdominal swamp but not in both places exactly 16 fish must arrive safely at the river no more and no less what uh, uh, hold on i d no okay got a picture of the instructions so i don't have to go back 16 fish okay schools will swim towards the river splitting evenly at each fork a school that can't split evenly will be paralyzed with indecision so they're either here or there but not in both spots the marmots and the marmots will eat all fish who enter their turf so how do i know where the marmots are so okay so i have to go through d or b So if I start here with eight, then four will go here and four will go here. So that's automatic two getting out and I could potentially have two here. Or I could have just two. So either way I could get two, four, six. And I'm losing two. And then this will be split three and three, which is six. Nine for sure, nine, and that leaves three and 
in here. Will it will it show me? Oh, but they only have to oh. So is this just showing me what I have? So if I put this here. So this just shows me this, right? How six or how eight will split into four and then it'll split into two. Hmm. Okay. So, so this could potentially be four fish or it could be two. Let's go with two, three, four, five. Because they're split with indecision. They have to be able to split. So five, eight. I wish I knew where they were. That would be helpful. Because I'm trying to math this out in my head and I'm not doing a very good job right now. <clears throat> So I could technically do this and just have eight go down here. because I want as many fish as I can. So this could be six. That's 10. And that's not enough. Because there's no telling if I'm gonna get the four back that are going in here. And, these, and this uh, fish can't split evenly, so I need them here. So they don't have to worry about splitting. So that's three automatically. That's seven, nine, that's ten. Hmm, I wish it told me where everything was. So. Hmm. So for sure I'll have 11 fish. It just all, it all depends on where they are in here. Cuz that leaves four this way. And three this way. But I don't think that's enough. Because if I swap this, that means automatically eight fish are getting in and I need eight more. And it would have to come from over here. So that's eight, 11. Because we don't know if it's here or not. Because we could lose two and have two left going down here, and then that leaves one. Hmm. 
Hmm. Because I'm trying to make sure that my math is at 16 before, at least 16 somewhere before I enter or before I submit. So let's just say that Mythpick has the fish that eat the stuff. So there is eight. This one will be at indecision. This one here will be at an indecision because they can't split evenly. So that's eight. Then these will split. That's 11. And then we have two. 11, 12, 13, since I'm saying they're over here. And that leaves two, 13, that's 14. That's still just 14, so that's not enough. Um, and if they were over here, it would still be eight. All of these would live, eight, 14. That's 15, 16. Um, you know what? Let's wing it. Mm. Okay. Okay. That's three. Let's say they're in myth pick again. So that means all of these are getting through. Eight, nine, 10, 11. And then let's swap these. So two and two. So that is 13, we lost two. And then we have three and three. And they're over there, so that's plus three, that's 16. And then we lose three here. Now, if they're at the abdominal swamp, that is three, that's seven, three and three, So we'll lose three and that's 10, but they can't split evenly down here. So they will be stuck and that's not enough. Hmm. Or what about this? So if it's at myth pick again, all of these are getting through, so that's seven. And then that's three. And then that means these are splitting. We're saving four. That's four here, so we're losing two plus two. That's 16. Okay, cool. So if they're here, then that is five because we lose two when they split and we're keeping all of these, right? No, we're not keeping all of these. We're keeping, we're keeping all of these, not all of these. So that is plus six, that's 11. And then we're gonna miss four. Hmm. I want to make sure I get this right because I don't want to miss any more. That's 21 all together. Hmm.
Hmm. I'm gonna try it. Uh, okay. So no matter what exactly 16 fish must, re must reach the end, no matter how we figure it out, right? Bruh. This mathing is mathing right now. So down at the bottom, if we have the abdominal swamp being the place where the thingies are getting it, we have three and that's six. And up here, we have four. And then everything else is being saved, which is not enough. So maybe... That is six. And that's 16. Okay, cool. So now if this spot is the one with all the fishies, <clears throat> all of these are gonna make it. So that's a nine. Plus four. So we're gonna lose two, right? Okay, so this should be it. If it's not, I'm using a hint the next time. That's right. There you go. Oh, uh, what just happened? The machine locking the factory. Where did you get them? Uh. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and save playing some more of this for the next video. I didn't do too bad this time. I didn't do too bad, except for the, the part where I cut out the, me successfully solving the puzzles that stumped me the last time. But on that note, guys, thanks for hanging with me, and hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Bye!